Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here. Today we're going to be talking about the top three reasons why a water pump fails and the symptoms of a failing water pump. Okay, um, please subscribe, hit the like button. You really like the, uh, the video, please super thanks me. It's right below the video. I really appreciate it. Okay, so let's get right into it. The number one reason, the number one um, reason why these pumps fail is um, uh, most of the times it's lack of maintenance, of changing your coolant and uh, things like that. But uh, the symptoms of a failing uh, water pump, there's the, the three of them is number one is, is, is a water leak, uh, coolant leaks around, in and around this. Matter of fact, this is a water pump. Water pumps on all cars, they're all different now. They're, they don't look like the traditional ones of way back when. They're all in different locations, but they all save, serve the uh, same purpose. And number one reason, like I just said, was a leaking water pump. They can leak from the tubes, uh, from the pipes, that the plumbing that, it, you know, makes it circulate. Uh, internally, they can leak their electric water pumps now. The electric motor can fail. This one happens to be pump-driven. Uh, a, lot, a lot of German cars have the pump-driven one and electric one. Um, that can fail, and that's the number one symptom. Okay, number two uh, symptom is overheating. And many people think overheating, oh, it's, it's automatically the uh, water pump. Well, in most cases, it's not. It's, something, it's another issue. But yes, of course, they could, it could cause the overheating of the engine. And how you know that, you look inside the car, you find your cooling gauge, okay? And you make sure the cooling gauge is not past the middle. Uh, when the AC is on and in, in the um, hot weather, it should stay, you know, at the middle or below. It should never go high. Never go all the way into the red, all right? This car doesn't have the red, but just as a reference, it should never go past the middle. If it starts going past the middle, the car is going to overheat. And the number three is the bearing failure of the water pump. Uh, the, the first one was leaking. This one is a bearing failure. Again, inside the water pump, there's bearings that, that on the uh, propeller that, that spins, either electronic or mechanically, it has a bearing that spins a little turbine, and that bearing can fail and make a noise, all right? But that's the, the least common problem, but that, that is a problem why they fail. I have another one out of the car, same thing with plastic, all right? The bearing is in back of the pulley, okay? It's back there. That can make noise, a grinding noise, a, 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 um, a humming noise, and it also can leak through there too, and, and, that's, and that's basically the bearing. 